like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars hear me can i tell you one of the greatest ways that satan attacks great men is through sickness most of you don't know sickness is hardly a condition of people who are rising in life those who are rising in life hardly fall sick not because they are healthy because at that point sickness as a weapon will not profit the devil listen carefully i hope that we'll have a series on 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 supernatural healing and health and i will teach you something do you notice that most people who have not really made it satan will hardly use the weapon of sickness because it does not really profit him the real assignment of sickness is to bring down great people read your bible find out those who were sick in the bible and you will see job the greatest man from the east when satan tested him are we together now yes the moment people become great the devil knows that at this point you probably will have security people protecting you so attacking you from that angle will not profit him he knows that probably you have influence there are many things money can do but he knows there is something money cannot do and these fiery darts with all the hell things you see someone who just wake up and they will tell you that there is something growing inside his brain within two weeks it has become the size of a golf ball are we together now that's why the psalmist said i lay me down and i slept he said i wait for the lord sustain me that means it's one thing to sleep oh, as a great man and it's another thing to wake up because when men sleep many things happen satan comes to plant hold on he he only plants tears among wheat he does not plant tears on an empty farm that means if your life does not have color and nothing is growing there satan does not come to plant anything there he waited until the labor of the farmer was now speaking he waited until the company was rising. He waited until the ministry was now blossoming. He waited until the children were now becoming teenagers, ready to carry the family name. Aha! The moment Satan sees wheat, be careful, he's coming. He's also a farmer, he can farm. I'm saying this so that you can take whatever you want to take. But let me tell you, if it is an attack, that's why we pray for people to be healed. It is more than just showing that a man of God is anointed. There are many, many sicknesses that medical science can deal with it. That is not really the concern. We can pray for you. If you have headache and you can take Panadol and you are fine, you've made our job easier. But we are dealing with the ones that you go to the hospital. The demonic headache that does not answer to Panadol. Because that one is not stress. That one is, is your name being mentioned somewhere. That Why will this man rise? Instead of attacking 30 people in that family, attack this man and let him die. Listen, in the book of Esther, in the book of Esther, sit down for a moment in the book of esther some of you didn't even know you were standing in the book of esther watch this the bible says you saw her man just as a faithful administration ad administrator but her man was a wizard her man was not an administrator he was a wizard there was a connection between her man and vashti when Vashti left, it weakened her man, but did not destroy him because her man had won the heart of the king. And when you read your Bible, the day they were to strike the nation of Israel, her man used divination to get the date. They, they, they conjured the elements, elemental forces. What day will it be to strike these people? But then they said, okay, now that we have it, who and who should we kill? Let me tell you what, what Haman's plan was. Haman's plan was first to start with Mordecai. Then after he's, he, he's done with Mordecai, don't think Esther will be spared. Esther would have been the next. After Esther, then the king himself will be the final one. He was already eyeing the king because when the king asked him and said, what should be done to this man? He said, aha, uh -huh. let him wear the king's robe ride on the king's horse what else is left is only to sit on the king's palace that means he was eyeing that i'm coming 
Let me first finish with her man. Let me show you how Satan attacks. He does not attack the Jews like that. He first goes to Mordecai because it was through Mordecai Esther came. Then when he's done with Mordecai, he would destroy Esther. Then destroy the king, then become king. So when you see the devil wanting to strike the family, he's not stupid. He will not come and strike everyone. There is a way of gauging people's advancement in the spirit. What one person can we hit in this family that will be the same thing as hitting everybody? That's why some of you did not prepare to come for this miracle service. But God pushed you by his spirit and said, Come, oh, you don't know what June is going to be like. Come and sit down and access grace. Let these devils be driven out. Oh, we have been anointed to do this. Listen, let me tell you, in the name of Jesus, not one strange spirit will be spared tonight. You hear of the testimonies that happen here. Listen, testimonies happen when the spirits that are behind these tragedies give way. Are we together now? protect me Jesus in teaching us what we call the Lord's Prayer he said our Father which art in heaven hallowed be your name he said your kingdom come your will be done in F as it is in heaven then he says give us this day our daily bread next prayer he says lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil he didn't say deliver me it's a corporate thing if you pray for deliverance for yourself alone tonight you are selfish deliver us because in africa if you are free alone you are not truly free do you agree with me deliver us from evil deliver us who are the us my company my family the ministry deliver us from evil deliver us from evil I've had the honor and the privilege of praying for people and sometimes even though I've seen this for many years I'm in shock and wonder at how easy it is Satan can bring down great people if there is no spiritual and human force in partnership with God that stands as a defense for them you see you can rejoice and say my business is doing well go and read your Bible and see how sudden it is that men go down are we together the worst of is when satan tries and nothing can happen as you sleep that's the end of it i remember a lady who sent me a text some time ago that she was sleeping in the night and physically she felt physically what she told me a hand came and held her neck you know how you are strangling someone and she was gasping for breath till she woke up like that shouting jesus jesus and nothing happened and she woke up literally felt a presence and it left What do you think demons are doing now? If you were a demon, just as an example, please. If, if you were a demon, what will you be doing now to be efficient? Just think. Will you be, you are, yes, you are sent to everybody. But if you were a demon and you want to be productive, what is the wisest approach? To waste your time running around everybody on the street? Or to settle down and fashion weapons? The Bible says no weapon fashion. Do you know what it means to fashion? To fashion means to study what you will use that weapon for. So if you were a demon, will you just see someone on the street and start following him? What is your name? Can I attack you? No. You find out. Okay, I have an assignment to attack 10,000 people. But out of those 10,000 people, who are the top three that I can bring down first to make my work easy? It is always the strategy of Satan. He looks for the strongest and brings down. That means if you came here tonight, it's because the hand of God has perceived you as the strongest somewhere that the devil wants to attack and God is bringing you, some of you, for the sake of your family members so that you are strengthened, you are delivered, empowered and sent back as an agent with fire and with grace. You believe this and let me tell you we're going to do a very quick work tonight 
if there is no time to take testimonies no problem but i i my heart is burdened because when the lord told me jabez that means at the end of it honor and glory is what must come out of your life this night <laughs> hallelujah praise the name of the lord don't sit back and allow the devil wreck your destiny wreck the destinies of those around you and say it does not matter i just know that one day go better god is a good god he will change things the bible says jabez cried unto the lord when you become passive you become very very sorry for want of word become very um very organized there is there is a desperation that you must carry the desperation of hannah the desperation of gideon the desperation of jabez have you seen a woman going to give birth and she's interested in her makeup that just when the child is about to come and says sorry I, I i just need to make sure that you know this one is in place can i have a last look at myself huh have you seen that happen there is a desperation the woman with the issue of blood said this is not the issue of shame i'm tired of this nonsense i will cry it i will touch the head of his garment let me be punished later but for now there are some of you who are not yet angry enough sincerely i'm telling you you are still organized he's saying well the poverty situation is not so bad at least we can borrow money now you are owing more than 10 million it started from 10,000 naira and the devil is an expert in growing it before you know it you see that your whole destiny has been given to the company you are owing is that not what happened to the wife of the sons of the prophet remember you think that she started by they were going to take her children as collateral your children there does not just represent your physical child whatever it is that can make for continuity of your destiny satan can use things around your life and force you to carry your future and pay for today with it I'm, I'm, I'm planting a holy anger in you so that when it's time to pray and it's time to receive you will do what jabez did Tonight is not just to shout amen. My job is to release grace with you and stand in faith with you. But you have a responsibility for God's sake to pray in holy anger. Give us that scripture. Verse 10. The Bible says, and God, and God granted him that which he requested. God granted him not that which he has been admiring in others not that which he, he wants passively i know it boys just between me and god <clears throat> blind bartimio said thou son of david i don't care who else is hearing it have mercy on me and the people said keep quiet you are the one who knows the heart you are the one who knows what lack of employment has done to you you are the one who you you know it's always it's often said that the person wearing the shoes is the one who knows where it is hurting so when it's time to pray don't just stand and be organized and say well i i know I, I don't want people to see me let camera not pass me you have to deal with certain things once and for all this spirit of death that i'm always seeing in my dreams tonight is the time to deal with it i i, I reject untimely death but just say no it will not come if that is a joke you are going to have to place aggression this door that opens for others but just when it gets to me that door closes somebody was supposed to sign something on your table and just because he turned to discuss a wind just push all the files and they can't find it again and that becomes fine what kind of satanic thing is that and you are here keeping quiet and he said it does not matter he will find it one day the same wind that pushed it must push it back was it not the east wind that blew that abba listen I'm, I'm i'm planting a holy anger in you father you gave me five children the devil is already taking two i assure you satan's plan is not to take two is to take all he took one and you kept quiet the bible says in the early church watch this the book of acts when satan took james and the church kept quiet they didn't do anything about it he said ah the bible says he proceeded further and he now took peter
Peter and the church said no more the Bible says the church gathered together and began to pray the same angels that rescued Peter were still there when James was dying but because there was silence and they did not pray the same angels that would deliver your family today they've always been there it's just that you've not given it the kind of aggression hallelujah listen let me tell you something someone once asked me a question i said apostle what does it take to build a global ministry like this and i looked at him with compassion i said which part of the answer now am i going to give this person one of it is a testimony in the spirit that you have mastered the art of keeping evil forces at bay when physical victory manifests is because that victory has been established in the spirit please hear me it is not when your job manifests that god answered you <clears throat> when you deal with it in the realm of the spirit and it's finished you will find out that you can wake up in the morning that's why you see people come for service and sometimes they are ministered to there are a few people who may walk back maybe they, their healing has started and they did not feel anything you know and they may feel disappointed you hear them testify that they went home and slept and woke up because once it is done in the realm of the spirit that is it goliath died in the realm of the spirit david killed goliath before he met him there and he said mr man you are standing just as a mass of interruption i'm going to bring you down even with a stone so when we are going to pray now please i want you to pray with seriousness there are things that you wrote there are sicknesses in your body can i tell you we are in the days where headache can become cancer thanks to demons you will feel a little headache something that you will just say ah, it's paining me the next time the pain goes to this side then it goes to another place unconnected i'm not a doctor but you will know this is a demon spirit you hear people telling you there's something roaming around my body have you heard people say that it starts from my head you know how hard it is to move around your body even god had to put veins and arteries and here is a demon spirit walking around freely until you stop it by the power of the holy ghost how about businesses that are going down from january your business has been going down and you've just been watching it thank god for principles listen we are people of principles and we're intelligent people but we are people who place superior honor to the realm of the spirit the physical realm is a child a slave helpless slave to the realm of the spirit if you do not deal with things spiritually whatever effort you are making physically is a total waste of time i assure you if you're a ministry here as a man of God, it is not just by invitation, poster, social media. Those are physical things and they are profitable. The real victory is in the realm of the spirit. Apostle, why is it that people do not like me? I'm a sincere person. Every time someone wants to help me, they seem to forget. You think they make themselves forget? There are wicked spirits. What do you think made the wine presser to forget Joseph? And added two more years one man's forgetfulness added another man's pain hallelujah how about someone who just received some money that should bless the family and wipe their tears and all of a sudden three people went down somebody needs a surgery five million another person needs a surgery eight million another person has a mysterious sickness that we must fly the person to uk to check you calculate everything is the exact same money you collected someone just wants to help you and the devil will masquerade and use certain faces in the dream to now come and appear as an angel of light and say don't help this person that person is carrying a familiar spirit and your destiny helper gets up in the morning in fear because the devil used your face or used something else to money and you find out that uh, let me tell you africa especially is a place where people respect the realm of the spirit someone can be very intelligent person he goes to bed and the devil just uses your face you come with a knife in the dream supposedly to kill the person the person stands up and says oh so this is my enemy you go to the office the next day good afternoon sir you are leaving this job now what did i do no before you kill me i will kill you 
both of you are innocent there is a spirit joining this thing has happened even between husband and wife have you seen it happen that a man will go to sleep a wicked spirit will use the face of the wife and the man gets up and says, no no way not in this house and the devil is just standing stealing killing destroying in the name of jesus tonight by the power that raised jesus from the dead in the name of Jesus Christ, every spirit masquerading through situations and circumstances to abort the glory of God in your life goes down this night. Goes down this night. Goes down this night. The same way the Lord can make it happen that someone goes to bed and suddenly he has a dream and it's about you and the person is thirsty and you are bringing water the person gets up in the morning and says you you got a job in this company when two weeks ago come you are promoted to my PA what happened I had a dream oh, and I saw you giving me water and in my mind I interpret it to mean you're a good person ah, life do you know I really feel sorry for people who downplay the realm of the spirit. I'm a person of principles. There are, it's not all about just demons and the realm of the spirit. But let me tell you, in order of priority, the physical realm came as the child of the realm of the spirit. That means for anything physical, it is only the after effect of something that has been settled in the spirit. Do you know a true story and then we'll begin to pray one time the lord opened my eyes and i saw something i saw someone who in the realm of the spirit he had already died but in the physical he was still walking he was still alive but in the realm of the spirit like this person has been buried in a coffin over now that person will be walking yet not knowing that you've been finished anything can kill you including a bike you just see that the bike passed and just hit someone and he fell down and they say both bones broke someone fell children go to pluck mango from a tree they fall from that tree and clean themselves and stand up and climb again and yet someone just fell from a bike and both of his bones you think that is just a fall listen we are god gave us a mind to think but let's be careful so that we do not allow the devil cheat us by just folding our arms when you see evil call it for what it is and deal with it by the blood ah, what is this pain that i'm having mysterious pain and the devil says cancer like it happened to your father like it happened to this and said no it will not happen to me i went to school that's not how the realm of the spirit works you stand there listen there is a way you open fire at the devil huh you have drawn a line anything you permit will grow hear me anything you permit will grow you permit failure it grows you permit the spirit of death it takes one step towards your house you turn back in the name of jesus christ this is how believers are taught to maintain victory hallelujah apostle but you know the truth is that the way after the pandemic it affected everybody my business has gone down till tomorrow i agree and i sympathize with you but do you know that for your business to come back it is going to take the favor of god the blessing like i taught the ministry of men have you called the men no i'm sure that god will just make it happen whereas somebody in the midst of that pandemic held on to the horns of the altar and shouted the door for his new level to open up i don't know who is angry in this place tonight but in the name of jesus i came here to release my faith with you that anything that does not name the name of christ it must live your life now please open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and begin to declare that in the name of jesus the son of the living god my life must be a capture of victory total victory total deliverance total liberation he who the son sets free is free indeed by the power of the holy ghost 
Someone is praying. Repa katoshe ke pras kete bele katosh. Kran te ke baros a pras kete katesh. Krapa katosh kete bele katosh kebetia. Every mysterious sickness roaming around my body, I curse you by the God of heaven, spirit of death. I call you by your name and I banish you from my life, banish you from my family, banish you from my business. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 Now I'm going to lead you to pray the prayer that Jabez prayed. Number one, it says, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me. As I mentioned them, I will lead you to pray. This is the miracle service. I want you to participate. If you want to hold hands with someone to encourage you, that is, you, you can do that. But by all means, any spirit of slumber that wants you to sleep or just fold your arms and watch people is cheating you. Say in the name of Jesus. Father, I decree and declare that by mercy, let your blessing rest upon me let your blessing rest upon me rest upon my family open your mouth and begin to pray the blessing of the lord that make it rich and added no sorrow the blessing of the lord that causes a man to prevail oh that thou wouldest bless me bless me Bless me. I activate the blessing upon my life. I activate the blessing. I decree and declare blessed in the city, blessed in the country, blessed in Abuja, blessed in Lagos, blessed in the United Kingdom, blessed in South Africa, blessed in the United States. In the name of Jesus. Man of God, pray. Pray the blessing of the Lord. Pray it upon your spirit. Pray it upon your children. Now pray it upon the works of your hands. Blessed shall thou be in the city. Blessed shall thou be in the country. Blessed shall be your needing trough. Go ahead and pray. Outside, make sure you are praying. All the overflows, make sure you are praying. In the name of Jesus, the blessing is upon me. 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 Speaking loud and clear. Speaking loud and clear. Speaking louder than any curse. Speaking that louder than any demonic thing. minute you are praying shate ke pakato safras kata bekata kapra teke parako shagates the blessing is upon me prospering the works of my hands the blessing is upon me manifesting as signs and wonders the blessing is upon me turning me into a mysterious sign and wonder The blessing is upon me. Someone pray. Shaleke peketos kata friend eke parusiata. Embra kato kapres kate peketos. Sobanto shoto balekatos. Ibra to seveze kate belekatos yata. For in Jesus' name we pray. Ah! For in Jesus' name we pray. I tell you things are shifting in the spirit now watch this 
Do you know what allowed the flood to come? What allowed the flood to come was that the blessing was withdrawn and was only, it was completely withdrawn and that was the only possibility for the flood to come. So when the flood was over, watch this now, when the flood was over, the flood of Noah now, remember, everything and everyone except Noah, his wife, the three sons and their wives and the animals that were in the ark. Am I right on that? These were the only things that were alive. You find that Noah came out and then Noah reared an altar. You find that in Genesis chapter 8 and verse 21 and 22. He, he carried some of the animals that were left. Some of the animals came two by two. Some of the animals came seven by seven. You will see that even some that were left, Noah still slaughtered them and they died. But watch what happened. When God wanted the earth to increase again, give us Genesis chapter 9 and verse 1. I want to show you the power of the blessing. What did God do to Noah? Same thing he did to Adam. You see, and God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, be fruitful. Does that sound like something he had said before? Multiply. That means every time God sees small things, what he does to increase them is to make this same thing. Keep this scripture there because this is going to be your prayer. That means in God's mind, what it means to be blessed is to be fruitful. What it means to be blessed is to multiply. What it means to be blessed is to replenish. You are not blessed in God's mind until he sees fruitfulness, until he sees multiplication, until he sees the ability to replenish and to subdue. This is God's idea. Every time you hear him speaking a blessing, he will break it down and say, this is my idea of being blessed. Be fruitful, multiply and replenish the earth. Are you ready to pray? We are still praying the blessing prayer. Say, Father, as a result of the blessing, that is upon me I speak to my destiny be fruitful multiply and replenish open your mouth and begin to pray I am blessed blessed to be fruitful blessed to multiply nothing remains small in my life by the Spirit of God and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Koinonia and all those connected to her by prophecy and God bless Noah and his sons and God bless Noah and his sons God bless Noah and his sons. You can call the name of your children. You can call the name of every company, everyone who is under your care. Declare upon them, be fruitful, multiply, be fruitful, multiply, replenish. Replenish. Replenish, replenish. Replenish. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's go to the next prayer. I'm telling you something is shifting in your life. He said, Oh, that thou wouldest bless me and enlarge my coast. You want to understand this? Let's go to Isaiah 54 from verse 1 and 3. Sing, O barren, thou that didst not bear. 
break forth into singing and cried aloud thou that did not travail with child he said for more are the children of the desolate than the children of the married wife said the lord verse 2 it says enlarge the place of thy tent and let them stretch forth the curtain of thy habitation spare not and lengthen thy cord and strengthen thy stakes why verse 3 hallelujah for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited look at me do you know what it means to be enlarged to be enlarged means to grow that's how we grow is that true we grow through enlargement there are people who, respectfully speaking, I got to find out a few cases where some people remain children even in their, as adults. You still see them like children, like babies. It's a medical condition that people remain literally. You look at them, their face, nothing changes. There is no growth. There is no enlargement. Yet some of them are 25, 30 years, and they, are still, they have the voice of children, everything around them. And when we talk of enlargement, we're not just talking of physical growth, financial growth, spiritual growth. The level of grace you've been functioning on for 10 years is still the same. The level of favor is still the same. Did the Bible not say grace and peace can be multiplied? Are you ready to pray that prayer of enlargement? That Father, I'm tired of being at this level for a long time. Enlarge me. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Spiritually this level of my prayer life this level of my word study life someone is praying enlarge me by the spirit of the living god enlarge me in ministry enlarge me shapakato parakato shafragates krasagata farasko sebelegos embrakato shafrandes kalebash Enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge my coast, enlarge koinonia, enlarge koinonia, enlarge my spiritual life, enlarge every aspect of my life in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Don't be tired. You'll soon sit down. But listen. Please look at me. What is the difference between a one room and a duplex? What is the difference? Space. Am I right on that? What is the difference between a great duplex and a mansion as you call it? Space. What you can do in a one room what you cannot do in a one room you are able to do it in a duplex am i right on that now just respectfully speaking if you have one room everything is there the kitchen is there the whatever is there are we together smallness has the characteristic effect of constraint it does not give you the opportunity to be efficient are we together now so imagine that you move from one room to a two bedroom now you can convert one maybe to be a library one to be a guest room have you seen people now respectfully speaking have you seen for instance say a couple a husband and a wife and maybe two children and all they have is one room you've seen what happens in the night the father is constrained maybe he even has to sleep on a chair for the wife and maybe the children and maybe the little baby you see that now did you not read in your bible that solomon was judging a case of two prostitutes where because of the constraint of space they slept on their visions and one killed they killed their children because of lack of space let me tell you enlargement is a blessing what ten thousand cannot do one million can do are we together now yes oh my man needs to be treated and the bill is 200,000 and that innocent woman is about to die because all you have is 10,000 but when God enlarges you you have more space you can even be a blessing what this level of anointing can do cannot do 
this level of anointing can do are we together now yes this level of anointing can only lead you to pastor 50 members not to insult but that is what it can do it cannot bring you a global ministry this way no no you cannot put the tire of a tricycle on a tractor or a, a bulldozer or a lorry can that work but they are all tires so when you bring that small tire how many of you have seen spare tires of cars that look very small because you were not supposed to drive with it for a long time it's only sufficient to take you to the mechanic you see some of these giant cars and they come with enlarged tires and sometimes when smaller cars are struggling because of the pothole those cars can come and pass as if they're, they're not even aware that's what enlargement does when you are limited when you are constrained five children you are living on fifty thousand. it's not a blessing no let me tell you the truth not in our world today you are anointed you pray you have to pray for one week for headache to go you can't have a ministry that is flourishing that way i told you people don't follow men they follow results when you are a man that commands that result it will look like they are following you but what they really follow are results it takes a level of dedication and loyalty and training by god for people to look beyond results and now start following men enlarge my coast enlarge my i've prayed this prayer many times this ministry did not start like this and this ministry will not remain like this because that grace for enlargement is there so why is it that your life is remaining that way one more time i want you to refuse look at every area of your life that has refused to grow and declare let that anointing for enlargement rest upon it open your mouth and pray one last time father enlarge me by the spirit of the living god enlarge me by the spirit of the living god for the sake of your glory for the excellency of your name please pray hallelujah number three let your hand be with me hallelujah let your hand be with me let your hand be with me you are going to pray this is what is responsible for advancement this is what is responsible for speed when the hand of the lord comes upon men they refuse to stay not just at that level but even in that location it is god that moves men when you find stagnancy what you need is the hand of god the hand of God moves men. The Bible says it was the Lord that caused Moses to advance. Say, Father. One more time. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus. By your hand. Advance me. By your hand. Advance my destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. By your hand by your hand by your hand advance me in ministry by your hand advance me in every area of life someone is praying advance me advance me by your spirit hallelujah 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 and with the last prayer point it will now lead me to begin to minister as fast as we can fire is going to begin to fall in this place now Give us the last prayer point. Keep me from evil. Listen. The psalmist said, He that dwells in the secret place of the Most High 
shall abide under the shadow of the almighty is that true verse 2 says give us verse 2 i will say of the lord he is my refuge and my fortress my god in him will i trust verse 3 surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler from the noisome pestilence verse 4 he shall cover thee with his feather and under his wings shall thou trust his truth shall be and thy buckler verse 5 it says thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night nor the arrow that flyeth by day verse 6 nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor the destruction that wasted at noonday seven a thousand shall fall by thy side and ten thousand by thy right side but it shall not come nigh thee last verse only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked listen do you know what it means for god to keep you to keep you means lord i will not die before my time hallelujah i was listening to a video this morning by late archbishop benson idahosa and he was teaching somewhere in the states and he was just sharing how that when god gave him an instruction in benin then and he went and he was praying and praying and god gave him an instruction for seven days to go out every night at the roundabout alone and begin to pray and declare and say benin belongs to jesus and he said he prayed in the spirit of fear came what if you would die he said in one of the days when you got there he saw parts of animals that were caught and on them his name was written there can i tell you saying i do not trouble anybody nobody would trouble me is a joke all it takes to be a victim of evil is to be born the moment you find yourself here you have to understand the warfare dimension of life are we together now i'm saying this because many of you do not know you're a man of god here i want you to listen daily daily there are demons and spirits it's only when we go to heaven that i will know how many shrines how many pots how many sacrifices carry my name daily but they will continue to boil it as dinner lunch supper it will, it will have no effect not because listen not because we are powerful on our own we have found from scripture that there is immunity in that name that there is immunity in that blood are you ready to pray now say father by the blood of jesus the blood of the eternal covenant every covenant tying me to failure to death to weakness to defeat right now by the blood let it be broken open your mouth and pray every covenant Every covenant tying me to death, witchcraft, defeat, yokes, ordinances. No matter how long be broken, no matter how long be broken. No matter how long be broken, every covenant that says people will not rise, that says people will not shine, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, be lifted above all other gods. We lay our crown and worship you.